I motherfucker was clean as a baby's ass. My nigga loved that shit, trust me. We was fucking and sucking and sucking and fucking and skeeting and hollering. My nigga's face looked like a warm, hot, glazed Krispy Kreme donut. Woo, hallelujah. It was a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful thing for about a week and a half. Uh, church, a week and a half after you bald your pussy, the hair starts to grow back. Now, I don't know how many of y'all have ever been doused with kerosene and set on fire before, but there was a burning and an itching sensation that I wouldn't wish on my worst motherfucking enemy. I couldn't scratch my pussy hard enough. I had credit card, hairbrush. I dick in the world to make me do that shit again, not a dick in the world. I don't give a fuck if my pussy look like Santa Claus, you hear? I will never, ever, 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 ever do that shit again. But that's why I'm saying to the brothers, this is what regular bitches do for you motherfuckers. This is what we go through to try to satisfy y'all. That's why I just want you to get your priorities straight. Get a regular chick, a regular bitch. Everything that glitters is not gold. Get somebody who gonna take care of you, who will love you. Maybe the bitch didn't make a centerfold. So the fuck what? She can be your motherfucking centerfold. Get you a bitch that will love you, take care of your raggedy motherfucking snagger tooth kids better than your baby mama do. Get some bitch that will accept you and is proud of the fact that you work too goddamn job. All the glitters is not gold. If the bitch look too good to be true, she probably is. Okay, if you meet a girl who earrings match a necklace, match a bracelet, match a ring, match a nipple piercing, match a belly button piercing, match a belly chain and an ankle bracelet and a toe ring and a toenails match a fingernail and a fingernails and acrylic and the bitch grew them all herself, and she got pretty leg, and a bitch ain't never skinned her knee, or got a mosquito bite, ain't got no cellulite, or no varicose vein, and her ass is tight, and her titties is perky, and they both the same size, and they look up at you, and she got a nice neck with no fat around it, and she don't sweat too much, and her breast smell good, and her teeth is all white, and straight, and her lipstick is on good, and her eye makeup is on good, and the bitch ain't got no wax in her ears, and you feel her hair, and long down her back, and she ain't got no tracks in her hair, nothing like that, you better lift that bitch's skirt up, cause her dick is probably bigger than yours. My name is Renelle, God bless. How you feel, you just got on stage blowing that stuff up, what you feel like right now? I feel like I crushed it as usual, not to be conceited or anything. Getting dressed. I gotta finish getting ready because the car ain't here, so I'm gonna get ready. The car ain't here? Not yet. So let me finish putting my makeup on and getting ready for the show, you guys. Okay. Alright. See y'all in a minute. Because there's always that one person in the audience that you can see that I don't know if they constipated or what, but they not laughing at shit. And that person gets me, because I want everybody laughing at least one time. Dude, it's a disaster. Keep away from me. That's why I got to stay good. Hold on, Lena, Lena, you know how to do this. Right. Yeah, I know I how to do it, it, but it's going to be a secret. Chris, put that camera. It's going to be a hole if I do it. Well, you already got Another one damn hole. Well, have y'all done just kind of? That's yeah, that's the good show. 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 That's A couple minutes here. Where all the couples at? Make some noise. 
Look at that. The women about to break their arm off. Right here, right here. Me and all looking around, they don't even know they're a couple. Oh, yeah, okay. Guess I'm a couple then, yeah. Your dumb asses. They don't even know when they're in a relationship. They so stupid. They'll screw you 300 times and introduce you as they friend. This is my friend. No, we ain't friends, buddy. We passed friends up a while back. I, I don't know who you talking about. Shit, you hit this twice, we go together. Don't, don't. We ain't no friends, it's official now. You my boo, you my boo. And if you still in the picture in six months, you my fiance. And that's how I'm introducing your ass, please. Cause they'll go with you 200 years. If you don't say shit, they ain't gonna say a goddamn thing. You can have 10 babies and a goddamn heart attack. Nigga, still, we go together, no. Shit, you ain't wasting my life away. I'll be damned, shit, we go together. But a round of applause, how many of y'all agree that relationships are a lot of work? It's like a job, ain't it? Hell yeah, it's like a job. And like any job, there's a probation period, hello? There's some shit you just can't do yet. Like farting, you can't fart around your new girl before 90 days is up, that's nasty. They be all laughing, thinking it's funny. <laughs> Playing machine gun, <laughs> no. That's not cute at all, that's not cute. And you can't be going in nobody's refrigerator either before your probation is over. I get sick of that going in my refrigerator talking about what you got to eat. Baby, what you eating over here on the couch? Hello? I'm warming your dinner up right now. You better ask some goddamn body. I'm sitting on your happy meal. I got it right here for ya. It's crazy. A lot of y'all be talking about going downtown, don't even know what the hell y'all doing, hello? Shit, you with your eyes all closed. Like, that tastes like coochie to you, nigga. That's been ass for like five minutes. He's like, he's like what? <laughs> Open your eyes before you get surprised, because I ain't saying shit. Knock yourself out. Just don't come up talking about no kiss. Uh-uh, ain't going to be none of that going on. Better kiss my ass while you're down there. No kissy, kissy, yuck, yuck. Y'all silly, y'all silly. Men think cause they go down on us, we finna get them some head. I don't know where you read that shit at. But it's a misprint, I can tell you that right there. Hell no. Nah. You better not say suck my dick to a black woman, you'll be missing one. Brothers gotta talk in code, don't they? They say shit like, so, so why don't you work your magic? Like what I look like, bewitch? If I could do magic, you'd have a bigger dick, huh? Abracadabra. It's like hell I could do some damn magic. Your ass wouldn't even be here no more. I'd be fucking Denzel right now. Better pray I can't do no damn magic. But it ain't just the men, ladies. It ain't just the men. It's a lot of hoes out there messing shit for everybody. I can't stand y'all nasty asses. Where the hoes at? Make some noise. Where y'all at? Don't be shy now. Y'all will be breaking your neck to get backstage after the show. It's your nasty ass. This one girl came back there last night, pulled her titty out and asked Cat for an autograph. And he up there, where, where you want me to sign? I was like, sign on one of them lines. <laughs> Looked like a piece of notebook paper was on that titty. Put that back. A nasty heifer. Just nasty. What we gonna do with y'all? Going around giving somebody head cause they was nice to you at the club? That's disgusting. No real lady do that. A, a head is for your man only, ladies. Hello? Don't clap, it ain't no everyday time. Chill out, you know, start some shit. Head is for special occasions. You know, when you wanna show gratitude and appreciation, that's when you give head. When you wanna say thanks. <laughs> thanks for the hops. <laughs> thanks for the car. I love you, boo, I love you. Oh my God, what are we gonna do with y'all? I love my black man. Give it up for the black man. I love y'all, I love y'all. They be dogging my brothers. They say all black men is dogs. That's a bunch of bullshit, ain't it, fellas? Yeah, it is. And then they say y'all all abandon y'all children. That's bullshit too, ain't it? Yeah, it is. And then they say y'all all got big dicks. Another lie. <laughs> Not all y'all. Some of y'all got bigger fingers than you do dicks, don't they? You be like, that's your dick? Well, put your finger back. Put your finger back. This is bullshit. Ugh, I hate them little finger dicks. They irk me. 
always popping out and shit. Then they get the nerve to get mad like it's my fault your shit keep popping out. Want you to turn over to the other side like it ain't gonna pop out. Hello, you ain't got enough for no doggy style. Chill out. Let's get on top and go slow. Stop tripping, stop tripping. You can't do like the movie. You can't do like the movie. Now I don't like no whole bunch of talking after I done came. I don't want to hear your personal problems, my damn self. I'm sleepy right now. I'm talking about he didn't come yet. We'll come back tomorrow. Cause I came, thank you, I thank you. Cause we coming now, ain't we ladies? We getting ours. Shit, that's some, hell yeah, you better get yours first so you might not get it. Let's keep it real. I remember that first time is scary too cause your mama don't warn you about that, do she? She say, don't get pregnant. She don't never say, girl, wait till you come. Dude. My mama ain't said shit. That first time was scary as hell. Girl, my leg got to shaking and shit. Body got to jerking. I'm trying to tell the brother called 911, but I couldn't talk. I was like, uh, uh, yeah. wait a minute, don't touch me. It's a trip too, cause it's different for men than it is for women. Y'all know that, right? Cause for a woman, it takes anywhere from 25, 30, sometimes even 35, and I'm talking years here. Oh yeah, some ladies out there tonight don't know what the hell I'm talking about. They just laughing cause they friend laughing. And then for men, it's like 20 minutes. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's some men. Then you got the mother brothers before you can even take your clothes off. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> my new shit, she gonna do my new shit. Like you putting it in the cleaner. She putting it, Mr. Minute Man. I hate his ass, don't you ladies? He got a million excuses on why his shit came off. I got something on my mind. Well, here, let me put something on your face. <laughs> Get it off your mind. I got you, boo. We can help you with that. I got you, I got you. Silly ass. Then they want your help with it, don't they? You gotta be rubbing on it and shit. You be rubbing and rubbing. <laughs> shit, my arm hurts. You do it for a little while, shit. Well, show me how. Show me how if I ain't doing it right. A lot of men don't even wipe. Did you know that? They don't wipe. They shake it like that. And after a couple of drinks, they don't even shake it. They just walk out. <laughs> Shit all sprinkled on their pants, trying to act like they spilled their drink. That's pee pee. <laughs> I know pee pee from Hennessy. You done peed on yourself, mister. <laughs> Go on, pissy, get away from me. <laughs> trying to holler at somebody with your pissy ass. <laughs> Go on. Some men be tripping, boy. You ever have a guy go off on you because you wasn't interested in his ass? I don't like pissy people, so go. This guy was cussing me out. I didn't even know he was talking to me, old stupid ass. Yeah, one eye was looking at me and the other one was looking at this girl over here. I was like, girl, I wouldn't let nobody talk to me like that. You need to put his ass in check. I'm talking about he talking to me. Well, you gotta look at me when you talking to me. I don't even like cockeyed people. We wanna keep it real up in here. They too sneaky for me, always looking around. I don't like it. I be thinking somebody about to set me up or something. I be like, well, what you keep looking over there for then? No, I see your eye, I see your eye. Yeah, you ain't slick. Well, let me get on this side and you get over there if ain't nobody come. Yeah, you ain't slick. Let me shut up, there's somebody out there right now trying to hold their eyes still. <laughs> you know somebody out there, Kaka. <laughs> Mad as hell at me, boy. <laughs> But I got love for y'all too. They pretty good in some things from what I understand. Cause you know, they pretty good in security. They can scan the perimeter with that one eye <laughs> and check out everybody with the other. You know, that's some special skill right there. You can put that on your application. Special skills. They pretty good on long road trips too from what I understand. Cause you know, they can see both sides of the road so you won't get lost or nothing. So I got love for my cockeyed peoples. Where my single independent women at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Make some noise with your lonely asses. Look at them. Look at them. Yay! Like they happy they got nothing for Christmas and shit. <laughs> Girl, my, oh, mama bought me something, yeah. Oh. They say it's a man shortage. It ain't no man shortage. I was downtown earlier. Girl, it's men laying all on the ground. It's plenty of men. Get you a fixer-upper. That's what you gotta do nowadays. No, you ain't gonna find no man with a job, a car, his own place, and good dick too. Oh, no, girl, that's something your mama made up to keep hope alive. Ain't no such thing. Good dick usually come with no car if you wanna keep it real up in here. Oh, no, you got to pick that up. That's a for damn show. The best dick in the world is walking on that L, because it's showing the L ain't got no damn car. 
Better believe that shit. You going to pick up that good dick. Sorry. That's how it works out. That's how it works out. Uh, I don't know what we gonna do with y'all. Y'all such big babies. I love men, but y'all babies. Y'all don't have a clue, first of all, when it comes to women. Y'all have no idea. Men think we turn the lights off during sex to hide our bodies, please. We turn the lights off so you can be somebody else, man. You Denzel, shut up, shut up. About to have training day in here if you shut your ass up. You have my fantasy. Can I have my fantasy? <sighs> a lot of women desperate just to be in a relationship, just so they can say they got a man. Sitting up here getting their ass whooped on a daily basis, just because they asked where their Christmas present was. Bam! Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Forget that. Ain't no man ever beat me unless we was playing some spades or dominoes or some shit like that. Huh? Please, I ain't never got beat. I got slapped the shit out of her one time. <laughs> That ain't no beating, that ain't no beating. I know a beating. Yeah, that nigga shook me real hard, yeah. My neck was sore, but ain't nobody beat me. Ain't nobody beat me. He just wanted me to understand. He's like, you understand? I was like, yeah, okay, nigga, understand. I ain't never got beat. I got dragged, I got dragged. That happened one time, too. He was ready to go, I wasn't, I wasn't. I'm always ready now. You ready? Let's go, let's go. I leave the goddamn way. Shit. I I'm not gonna get beat up again, get you. Y'all know that's a lie, please. I don't play that, you talk too much shit to me, your ass going to jail, I don't give a damn. I call 911 and then say, say another word, say another word, I'll push this other button on your ass. I don't know what's worse, getting into a relationship or getting out of one, cause it's just as hard getting out of one as it is getting into one, hello? Shit, you ever try to get rid of one that ain't ready to go? Oh girl, they in denial. They'll be in handcuffs walking to the police car talking about, so it's over? Yeah. It's over. O-V-E-R. No more relationship. Stupid ass. And they be wanting their stuff back too after the relationship over with, don't they? My ex-boyfriend standing outside my house embarrassing me, talking about, well, just get my TV back. Just get my TV back. I was like, get my pussy back and you can have your TV. He thought that was free TV. That was pay-per-view. <laughs> and you owe me a microwave and a vacuum cleaner. Let's keep it real up in here with your silly ass. Big old babies. I love my black man. Give it up for the black man. Sexiest man on the planet. Can't nobody wear a bald head like my black man. Oh, I love y'all. I love y'all. But everybody can't wear that bald look, can they? Nope. If you got a point at the top of your head, you, you need some hair on it or crazy glue and some baseball cap or something, I don't know. Whatever works for you. Or you got them bumps going up the back of your neck with that white shit coming out, ugh. It making people sick. I'm trying to get groceries the other day and nasty neck man in front of me. I don't even wanna eat no more. I done lost my appetite, I ain't hungry, no. Matter of fact, take all the white shit out of my basket. I don't want no eggs, milk, bread. Get them paper towels out, get the paper towels out too. This man done took roughneck to a whole nother level, didn't he? That is not what we was talking about. You got roughneck and pussneck mixed up. It's a nasty neck bang. Go on, pussy, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh. Sisters, I just didn't know how bad it was. I just didn't know how bad it was for the single lady till I saw season two of The Flavor of Love. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Is that where we at? 30 women chasing after this nigga here? He look like a sea monkey with a clock. Come on. Ugh. Ugh, not for all the money. I don't give a damn. Ugh. And they kissing them and everything. They making me itch. I'd rather have them pig balls and maggots off of Fear Factor than to kiss Flavor Flavor ass. That's okay. You do Flavor, I'ma do pig nuts. Get your ass. That nigga's so ugly, you can see him with your eyes closed. You be like, nope, I still see your ass. Nope. Ugh. I see the teeth, the clock, all the shit. I see it, I see it. No way, Flav, times just ain't got that goddamn hard, ladies. It ain't there, it ain't there. Before I get out of here, I just wanna say to the men, take responsibilities for your own actions. You know, stop turning shit around and make it look like it's our fault all the time. Y'all got that bag. Stuff we ain't even got nothing to do with, don't they, ladies? Like when you can't get a hard on, y'all try to put that off on us. Well, if you shut up, Shit, all I said was, what's the matter? Shit, you shut up. 
Did you the one need to be concentrating or something? I could talk all night long and mine will work just fine. If you know what I know, all the ladies in the house say hello. Hello. Shit, please. I can go to sleep and my shit will be working, okay? <laughs> Silly ass man. They about to kill theyself with this Cialis and Viagra and Levitra and anything else they can find to get their shit hard. They tripping. There's natural ways to get a hard on, you know? There's stuff you can eat. Did you know that? Look how quiet it got. Stuff you could eat. Pussy. You guys have been great. I'm Melanie. Happy New Year. What, what can we expect from the show tonight, man? Oh, from the comedy show? Yeah, man. Uh, oh, that show? The unexpected. <laughs> Funny. Maybe, Unpredictable. Uh, yeah, there's no telling. You can expect to get your money's worth. Yeah, That's you gonna sure. get that. You ain't gonna be looking for a refund, I promise Cause you. Cause Cat Williams rips it oh, every wait, wait, time. Okay, you know what she just said. <laughs> no, no, I ain't just saying. She moves bananas. Hello, Hello. I may faint. Yeah, you may faint. I can see him every night and still fall out my chair. I'm talking about him. I'm funny as a hell. And, and you come on out and see me as a hell. As a hell. I'm funny as a hell. Oh, and that's who <laughs> nails. And, 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 and then um, uh, everybody will be represented. The men, the females, big, small, black, crusty, light, dusty. Everybody come on out. I'm representing light and like dusty. And I'm representing <laughs> the independent women. That's what I do. That's what I do. And I'm me. I'm representing the codependent women. <laughs> and I'm representing the women like everything down there. I'm, 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 I'm representing all the under fives, the five and unders. Five? Five and unders. I'm only ten. I'm only ten. 